Up to this point, I haven't had the opportunity to check out bone conduction sound or headphones that use bone conduction to deliver audio to us. I've seen them with my friends and of course, I've seen different ones posted online. But the biggest thing about them is overall, how does the experience of having an open ear experience, meaning I can still be aware of everything going around me, but still getting that audio fidelity that I want using bone conduction, meaning my headphones will sit sitting right in front of my ear and actually transmit the audio using vibration, not necessarily by sealing my ear. So in this video, we're going to talk about the Creative Outlier Free Pro Plus. This is a solution from Creative that's giving us not only great audio using bone conduction, but also extended playtime and the ability of going swimming with it with a built-in MP3 player. This is TK and this is my review of this bone conduction solution. Let's see how this works and should you consider it. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so they are always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. Now I'm going to start off by saying first and foremost I am loving the colors that they offered us here and not only because they kind of look like Goku colors because of that blue, the darker blue and orange, but also because this is kind of like how I grew up or at least first got introduced to Creative Labs or Creative is what they go with right now. This is the Outlier Free Pro Plus. There is different versions of this, but this edition is the Pro Plus. So there's the standard Pro and non-Pro, but the Plus edition allows me to have a few things that we don't get with the standard model. First and foremost, obviously we have uh, some information about it here. If we look on the side, we can see also some more technical information up to two hours for basic multi-point connectivity, wireless operation frequency. We'll talk about those things as well as Bluetooth 5.3. But the main features, is that it is using bone conduction technology. It also has adjustable transducers, which is something that is unique in this market, as well as having the ability of basically going swimming with its IPX8 resistance, Bluetooth 5.3 multi-point connectivity at the same time, eight gigabytes of built-in storage for the built-in MP3 player. Last but not least, up to 10 hours worth of playback, depending on the experience that you're going with. Obviously, multi-point connection may reduce that time. Uh, the codec that we have here is listed as AAC, but it also does support SBC as far as audio solution. And of course, it does work with both your systems you just have to initiate it using the button on the actual headset itself. Last but not least, in the box, we have basically the headset itself, as well as two silicone ear earplugs for swimming, uh, the magnetic clip cable that's going to be used for charging and data transfer. That's something to keep in mind. Two microphone plugs, so they do provide us a spare, and of course, a quick start guide. Now, here are the two earplugs and of course the microphone plug. Now, this is one of them. The other one's already mounted on the actual device, but it's nice. They definitely give you everything that you need to get in the water and enjoy your music. Conversely, for charging, it is a USB-A style cable to a magnetic three pin, uh, sorry, four pin connector with two magnets on the side. Now, the one thing about it that you want to keep in mind is that it is a proprietary cable, meaning uh, we're not going to be able to charge this or transfer data to it with anything that we don't have. So we typically have to make sure to have this connected with us. Uh, connecting it to the actual unit itself. It's very straightforward, connects to the actual connectors that we have in there. And again, as I mentioned to you guys, this is going to be charging it as well as doing data transfer to it. So you connect this to your PC. The PC will recognize this as just a USB thumb drive. You put that in and you transfer the data. Uh, it's not going to be the fastest data connection, but it'll definitely give us everything that we need. Uh, we have three button configurations here and an LED. Push and hold the button. This is kind of like a multifunction button. Let's go ahead and press and hold it here. You'll notice that the light turns on and it'll flash for a little bit. And we'll hear an audio auditory indicator saying that Bluetooth on and connected. If you want to be able to use this as an independent uh, MP3 player because you are able to load up music, keep in mind out of the box it comes with three tracks that are free from Creative that are preloaded in there. And the way to test them out is to double press the multifunction button. And once you do that, it'll actually prompt you to say MP3 or music player mode. And then you're able to play the music play or the files that are on here in sequence, meaning the way you see them in the order that they were organized, the oldest first to the newest. So you can skip forward by pressing and holding till the track changes and from either plus or minus. And that's how you go back and forth. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Double pressing it again takes you back into Bluetooth mode and it will connect to the last two devices that you paired it with. Uh, the material itself here is very much rigid. This is a straight connector. The batteries obviously are built in here. That one additional microphone uh, cover that I told you guys about at the beginning, you notice right there, it's a little bit of a plug. And all you're doing here essentially is if you're going to go swimming to provide it the best solution so you don't have any water sitting in there and causing any damage, especially chlorine water over time. So let's go ahead and see if I can do this. 
Once you have it connected, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It covers that one microphone that we have in here, and there's a nice little loop there. And this is going to be the conduction pad that's going to be sitting next to your temple. There's a right and left, obviously, but it is pretty straightforward on how you're going to be putting it. It is very much a flush experience, and it just fits. The transducers themselves are adjustable, and that's one of the unique experiences that they talked about. And that's the ability of changing their position closer or further away so you can adjust the audio to the level that you want. There is no way to adjust the back band. That's unfortunately one thing that we can't do. So it's going to be pretty much kind of a, depending on how the fit is for you. For me, it does sit a little bit wider uh, behind my neck, but of course, it just makes it so that it works for multiple uh, sizes, I guess, at that point. But otherwise, it's pretty much straightforward. That's pretty much everything that we get in the box. Let's go ahead and start talking about uh, the fit and, of course, audio experience. Now, the fit on this is pretty straightforward. You just put it over your ears, so it has to kind of go over the ear, and it's going to sit right in front of your ear. So it's going to be the ear opening as far as the ear canal. It sits right in front of it, and it pretty much just sits with a direct contact to the side of your head. That's how it's going to send the audio. Now, if it doesn't give you the loudest or the best audio experience, adjust it by just pushing it ever so gently, either closer or a way to let it fit exactly, depending on the shape of your face. Well, not necessarily the face, but obviously, as you know, the side of the head. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, it is a little bit out of my back of my head there, but it's not enough for it to protrude too much. And what I like about it, it's very much this flush experience, making it very nice to actually get into the pool, get out of the water. And I'll say this, I haven't had the opportunity to go swimming with it. My son has used, um, basically headsets similar to this in the past where their coaches are able basically to talk to them while they're swimming and this is something that's been proven bone conduction is pretty much about the only experience you're able to work with and initially when i first got this i was like okay wait a minute Bluetooth doesn't work in water. So if you're trying to swim and you're trying to do basically water exercises, your water experience is going to basically hinder your audio listening experience. And this is where the MP3 player becomes very functional. You basically, once you turn it on, even if it is connected to a Bluetooth, uh, let's say the multi-point connection, double press that little multi-function button that we have in there and it switches between um, basically MP3 player and of course uh, using anything else uh, that you're connected to. Keep in mind, obviously DRM uh, tracks and all of that stuff, that's just not going to work. This is a straight, pretty much a straightforward mp3 player so as long as you own the files and they don't have any drm concerns they're going to play and of course you'll be able to enjoy them now the nice thing about this is that we don't really have an app for this it pretty much works in one configuration you turn it on you connect it and you're ready to go if you want to be able to use it with a microphone it automatically pre-connects there and you're able to use it just remember if you are going to be using that little uh, waterproofing option since you're going to be basically go swimming and so on make sure to remove the bluetooth <laughs> the, the plug from the microphone in case you're not getting really good audio um, conversely, you can also not use it if you're not going to be swimming. I did take a shower with this, and as long as the water is not sitting, meaning that the actual uh, headset itself is not sitting in the water, um, you're not going to have a bad experience. But I want to actually show you guys, or at least try to mimic that experience for you. I have a clip for you right now that's going to demonstrate me putting the headset itself. Now, it's playing it at 100%, and that's the reason why you can hear it. And I'm going to put it in the water itself directly, and you can still hear the audio coming through. Because it's vibrating and it's providing that audio through vibration, vibration, you can actually still hear it even when it's in the water. Okay, so now we saw that experience, and of course you could see why this makes perfect sense. This is bone conduction, and if you play the audio at its highest, which is what I was showing you guys in that clip, your, your, your neighbors are going to be able to hear that there's some music going on. They're not going to necessarily hear it as clear as you, but they'll hear some vibration. So I'll probably say it's played about 50 to 60 percent, and you're going to have that personal private experience while still be aware, again, because your ears are open to be able to have those conversations, and of course you can pause your music whenever you want. But let's do a quick range test and of course a microphone test. So we're going to start off with the microphone test. We're going to go to the backyard. And then after that, we're going to jump over to a range test. I want to show you guys how well the Bluetooth 5.3 runs on this. So now we're going to do a quick audio test on the microphone. And again, it is one microphone. Uh, and I really can't tell which one it is. But essentially, it's one microphone available that you do need to cover in case you do swim with it. This is obviously available. You can swim with this. You can preload music to this. And you can obviously do way more. But this should be a good example of what audio sounds like from the microphone that we have here on the headset. In case you want to be able to pick up a call or, you know, just jump on a video call like what we're doing right now and uh, recording audio from it. So hopefully it hopefully this is a good example for you guys as to how it's going to sound. OK, so we're going to do a range test right now. We have the music playing here on my Pixel 8 Pro connected. And we're going to see how far I'm actually able to go before the music starts cutting it out. So you can see it's still sitting all the way back there. I'm doing more of a straight line of sight now. And of course, see how much the audio kind of, if it does or doesn't cut out. So, wow, that's actually pretty good. All the way from down there, hopefully. Let's see, now we can let put the house between me and the phone. See if that actually changes it. 
Okay, with the exception of the fact that I have a helicopter flying over me, audio hasn't cut out. Full audio, really good. Um, now, obviously, it's not a straight line of sight. There's part of the house that's actually going between me. So this is actually not bad of a, <laughs> a range test, but not a good audio test with the helicopter. Okay, now that we've covered the microphone, as you heard, there's one microphone. It does sound a little bit, I think from when I heard people tell me on the other side, it sounds like you're a little bit underwater. And it's primarily because of the way the actual setup is done. It's a single microphone. It does its best to try to reduce the uh, ambient noise around us, but it doesn't sound as clear as some of the other options. It's definitely understandable. They can hear you, they can understand you. You can have perfect conversations with this. And that's what, one of the reasons I like it, because it's kind of versatile. You get out of the pool, you take the thing off, and then you're pretty much ready to go. You can talk, you can listen to music and do whatever you want. Uh, Multi-point connection will work with two Bluetooth connected and the way you do it is you set it up initially with the first device, disconnect it or turn off Bluetooth on that device and then put it back into pairing mode by pressing holding the multifunction button and of course pair it to the second device and at that point it'll have that multi-point connection. Now, when it comes down to the audio experience, it's pretty straightforward. This is different than any other pair of buds that you've used. If you've never used bone conduction, this is gonna sound different, obviously, than in-ear, over the ear. And if, the reason behind that is because your ears are actually still listening to the ambient sound. Now, you're able to play the audio pretty loud for it to kind of drown out the outside sound, meaning you can still kind of hear it, but it's not going to basically be uh, very prominent. My recommendation there though, keep in mind, because of that clip that I showed you guys before, if you play this as a very at a high volume, people around you will hear some of that murmuring or some of that vibration of the music and it may make them uncomfortable because they're going to be wondering like what is he doing and why is it sounding so weird so what i recommend you doing is about 50 to 60 percent volume level and of course keep in mind the volume level on the actual headset is different than the volume level on your phone so you can adjust it according to your preference if you're using it independently then the volume level on the on the actual headset itself is pretty much the only thing you could do uh, but as far as audio, it does actually sound pretty good. Uh, you're able to hear the mids and highs. There's a little bit of that bass representation there. It's not going to be that thumping bass, so just be aware and obviously keep that in mind. In the few times that I've used it when I was taking a shower, because I just wanted to see, hey, can I listen to music while you know going into the shower without making everybody in the house listen to me sing or you know obviously listen to the tracks that I'm going. And this actually did quite well. I didn't do well. I didn't use it with the uh, little bit plug in there, and it's primarily because the water was basically facing coming down and it's not. Safe in water. The plug is primarily intended for when you're going swimming. Obviously, chlorine water is a little bit different. You don't want to damage some of that IPX8 rating that we have in here. Um, loading music on this is going to be pretty good. It's not going to be disappointing. Again, they're rated to up to 10 hours. I probably would say if you're using multi-point connection, it's probably going to be a little bit less than that because it's definitely drawing more power. But charging this is actually pretty easy. You just need to make sure to remember to bring your proprietary cable. And that's one thing that I really wish we had the option of getting something or maybe a spare of. Because typically I don't go around taking this with me. So if it does, well, if it does end up dying on you when you're traveling or you're not in the house, Unfortunately, there's no way to charge it. There's no wireless, there's no other option for this. But if I have to summarize the experience here, I'll say this. If you're looking for a pair of wireless, um, I would say basically bone conduction audio uh, earbuds, this is gonna give you a really good, well-rounded experience. From the battery life, to the audio experience, to the fit, to making it so easy, like this entire time I was talking to you guys, I had it sitting and it's sitting straight on the side and it is very minimalistic and it does not really it's not uncomfortable to wear for an extended amount of time. Once you have it for about maybe a minute or so, you actually kind of forget about it. Um, I will say that the audio does change depending on what you're doing with your mouth. And it is a little bit funny to say that, but based on the fact of where it's positioned, it's positioned right at the part where your jawbone meets or connects, or sits right next to your temple. If I'm moving my mouth too much, like this, it does technically shift the pads a little bit. So that changes the audio a little bit. It doesn't turn it off. It just changes the audio. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but with everything that we get in here, it's a very well balanced package. And of course, provided at a really good price point that it provides us the ability of getting into bone conduction without feeling like we're leaving the you know in-ear or over-the-ear solution. So I do want to say thank you very much to Creative for sending me the pair. These are definitely one of my favorite uh, you know solutions when I'm outdoors, when I want to be able to go swimming, or even if I just want to listen to music in the shower and not have to worry about them. Really good battery life, really good functions, and of course, connectivity, very simple. You can also launch your assistant if you want to use that or just use them independently. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.